Hi, my name is Nick and I'm from Hamakaza in Marina del Rey. And today, before we show you how to make a food and stuff, here is my tool. Every sous chef has this one. It's called Yanagi. Japanese uh, all-purpose knife for the sushi men. They can cut, dice, everything you can do, especially when you slice fish. This is the best tool. Mine was uh, not that good one. This is made with stainless steel. Probably the best out of stainless steel made. It doesn't get rusty. But the, uh, this good knife of this kind will vary about $800 to $1,500 for normal range made with tempered steel. The very sharp edge lasts longer. In order to get this one for yourself, you go into the regular knife shop? No. You go to the Japanese supply. Japanese supermarket? No. They, they only carry very cheap stuff. So you go to the Japanese restaurant supply in downtown, or you can ask your favorite chef to get it for you. You have to get the straight edge one. Cheaper one has wavy edge. It's very hard to use. To, to judge that is you hold a knife like this and see from the tail to the top is all straight line. Also, it's not waving or warping or anything. That's the way to uh, uh, find a good knife. But easier way, pick the most expensive one. That's probably the best. Now you know how to choose a knife. It's time for you to show you how to use a knife. When you use this kind of knife, you have to make the angle and you use the elbow, pull your elbow so that knife goes circular motion. This helps you to keep your edge last longer and slice it better. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is my regular knife. It's not tempered steel, it's stainless steel so that it uh, doesn't have to uh, deal with the rust and stuff, but it's also a little bit dull easy to lose edges than tempered steel, expensive one. Expensive one will cost probably $800 to $1,500 normally. These are a lot cheaper. Okay, how to use this knife? Japanese knife is made like Japanese sword. We take the uh, movement opposite to Western culture. This one was pull to cut, made to pull to cut the uh, items instead of push to cut. So let me show you with a lemon. Western way is push it down, you can cut it too. Japanese way, when you use this type of knife, sashimi knife, is uh, you have to use your wrist angle and hold it like that, do not move the angle. And you use elbows, here it goes. You pull your elbow, see your knife, called circular motion. This is a way to cut fish, vegetables in Japanese cooking. If you want to make it angle, you can make it angle, but still your wrist is the same. Here you go. One slice you can cut. Western way, you have to push it like this. When you push it, you lose your edge because you're hitting a cutting board. When you pull, you don't really hit the, hit the cutting board, just the tip. I'm Nick from Hamakaze in Marina del Rey. You are watching Inside My Kitchen.